hey hi everyone welcome back to the channel this is omsi ready and uh, today this video is all about the machine learning project and previous video i have explained about the deep learning project and the brain tumor it is very simple and easy data set i performed for the beginner levels this is also in a beginner level project oh, who need to learn the machine learning and the data science they can understand easily simply understand and uh, this is from the scratch i will explain everything from the scratch and these are the things I have done. I used the machine learning model like a random forest regression to perform this uh, this project and this project is gold price protector. So protection. So let's uh, start. Let's start the project. And uh, this is uh, this link is when you click this link, we can you have get the uh, data set uh, link and you can go through there and download that. And description of this project is this project file is uh, common operated by the format of 2,000 plus rows and seven columns and uh, it contains five columns which is numerical data set and one column is uh, data formats it contains one then and data is uh, where the data date format is uh, the form of uh, month dates and years and uh, f x s p x it is a free floating weightage a measurement stock market index of a 5000 largest companies and the gld is gold price and uso united state of oil funds slv silver prices and uro and the currency pairing quotations of euros against the us so before for that uh, for this type of project so we need to imply uh, import the some of the libraries like numpy pandas matlab libc bond etc where numpy is used for the numerical numerical operations and pandas is used for data type operations like loading of data finding some uh, non values and uh, we can use for pandas like uh, so many different ways and matlab lib and c bond are the visualization purpose uh, we can use and first we need to import the data where gold is equals to pd dot read csv gold price so it uh, gold price dot csv its file contain the this file is contain uh, csv file which is contain this type of data set and uh, this data is uh, i am loading this data into the project so that's why i use this type of statement pd dot read csv gold this is gold price this is my file name and dot csv file and gold dot head i get uh, it's uh, execute in front of you only it will take some time to execute and uh, this type of projects are very simple and for a beginner level project you easily can understand these projects uh, And I am loading the data set and gold is equals to data annotated and gold dot gold is equals to I'm this is the top five data sets uh, rows of my data set top five dot rows of my data set which contain SPX GLD USO CLB UO and this and the next EI statement used to find any statement where gd is none is any value is none then you can you want to sum the value so that there is a no we don't contain any null values and this type of sentence is uh, present uh, to drop the argument so, uh, for this type of projects and for, uh, for this uh, for this project i do i don't want to take any space so i want to drop that for that uh, gold new equals to from old to gold i am dropping the date and i am giving the executing the gold one gold one dot head this is the gold one dot head i am passing so this is the gold one top five i am so here from the previous we have date column date column but uh, now we ha don't have date column i have dropped the date column and uh, now i am going to see that what is the shape of the date column is gold day so it is uh, two, 2290 comma 2290 rows and five columns 
I am getting the information what the date, new date contain. So it contain the floating values uh, here each and every row contain floating values. So I am again dropping the values of uh, GD. So because I'm I don't want the uh, gold values, so I can drop the GD and sorry here I am dividing. Independent and dependent variable. Dependent variable. Where x is equals to and pausing the x is equals to gold new dot drop gd. So I don't want to consider as the gd as the independent variable. Dependent variable. Not independent variable. So I am dropping it. And where y is equals to gd, and it is a dependent variable. Gold price is dependent on based on this uh, remaining features. So I have done that where x dot head is equals to where x dot is equals to we get uh, SPX, USO, SLV, and euros and DS. So where we get uh, idea this is the gold prices. These are the things I have divided independent variables and dependent variables and now we want to perform the test, prime test test case. So for that case I am importing some excellent model for example import prime test case and uh, I am performing x prime y test and y prime test uh, y test test case prime test split I am passing x independent variable and dependent variable prime uh, test size is uh, 30 30 percent and random state is uh, zero. Let's execute this and uh, this will take some time to import the library yeah, perfect. and we have executed this uh, try and test split and let's see how what is the try and test split what is we have the try and test split so this is uh, things contained in the try and test and uh, we have also seen test also x test so these are the contents in the extents. So this uh, try and extern and extest divided in the data test is 70 30 percent. So where that uh, here I have noted that test size is 30, 30 that means 0.3 percent means 30 percent. So the data set for the tested size is still converted into 30 percent. So the remaining 70 percent is converted into try. Uh, whenever you have seen that uh, test size is every time less than. Yes, I'm uh, and now I want to build a model for that case I'm using the random for the regressor uh, and uh, for this package from scln dot ensemble import random forest regressor and let's execute that it will take some time to execute and I'm in slicing I'm, I'm in slicing the model model or fr equals to random for regressor Uh, random forest regressor x train and y train and I am perfectly our model is there and I need to perform I need to predict the values based on the x test so y predict, y predict the text from the model or fr I am predicting the text okay. so these are the predictor values uh, based on the text so y test and you can see these are the uh, gold price predictor stage it is as uh, 127.07 training uh, stage it has contained 117.2 white so from the from the data set in future we have get this type of uh, prediction this type of increment in the gold price uh, based on these features that we have like and finally we can form this uh, y predict uh, y predict is equal to stuff i am converting all the things into the list at least uh, here by underscore predict is equals to this is a list format so this is a list format of uh, gold price prediction based on this each and every thing and now same thing now with this are the converted into the list format and uh, let's move on the next step what is the uh, plotting
now i am going to plot this uh, y predict and t predict here and this uh, actual uh, actual prediction and uh, predictor values let's here the uh, plot dot figure figure size is 10 and the plot y predict color in green and label is actual predictor and uh, t predict color is blue and uh, so see this output what is the result result means uh, the labels will be denoted so we can see here the actual values is not more effective to search in this particular target. Okay. After changing also we can't get anything. Yeah, it's still a bit hiring from the red, red actual values. So predicted values are higher than the actual values by the seeing this uh, graph we can determine like that so in future uh, based on present uh, features we can uh, derive the future um, high predicted values by this, uh, by seeing this uh, graph so these are all about this project have a look on this project and uh, please try yourself uh, and by seeing uh, what are the steps i have used and this is a simple project who can easily understand to uh, develop the projects and based on the learning of beginners and you can easily understand the projects and i hope you are all understand about these projects please like and subscribe to my youtube channel please connect in, in my social media platform also i am uploading each and everything there and you can get the interview questions and project details and some of the competitions also in maybe in future i am planning to keep the competitions please Stay tuned, update about my social media platforms and my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Happy learning. Okay, friends. Bye. Take care.